Hello, hello, hello. So I did upload a video, but it got a copyright, so I got to take it down. Um, so, okay, what is going on? This is what's going on. We're going to be talking about Elisa Lam and the Cecile Hotel. We're going to be talking about Ghost Adventures, and we're going to be talking about the EVP I did for the Cecil Hotel. Now, I just watched the... Um, the Ghost Adventures Cecil Hotel um, episode, right? My friend sent it to me yesterday. I got to watch it just now. I, I didn't finish all of it, but I'm almost done. Um, we got to talk. So there's a few things that I didn't know about that makes a big deal. And there's a few things that nobody's talking about. And there's a few things that I feel... Whew, let's just get into it. All right, so the first thing I want to talk about is Elisa Lam, Okay. And what I want to say is, number one, in the Ghost Adventure documentary um, episode, whatever you want to call it, um, they mentioned something I never heard before. He says, Sandy residue was on her clothing that was inside the water tank, right? Suggesting that her clothes were removed before she went into the water tank. Now, if she was committing suicide, why would she take her clothes off first? OK, uh, that's completely inappropriate for somebody trying to kill themselves. They're just going to off themselves. if That's what they want to do. You know what I'm saying? Um, again, it just makes me feel like, yes, she was taken there. You understand? Now, again, I said that before in my EVP and they said it in their episode. They had some psychic guy on there and he said, no, I feel like somebody brought her here. OK, she was not alone. So that's number one. But why is nobody talking about the fact that her reflection is not there. When he's in there, you completely see his reflection because it's mirrors, okay? And this is not the first time I saw this, but I felt like this is the first time I should talk about it. Um, nobody's talking about this. There are mirrors in this uh, elevator, okay? So why is it that it looks like it's painted or it's covered up? So you can't see what's going on. Why does it look like she has no shoe on right there? Do you see that? There's no shoe. Okay? So I wanted to point that out to you. I also wanted to, um, look, these are mirrors, guys. We should have been able to see her reflection. Look, you can almost see it on this side, but it's like blanked out. On these sides. Why is that? Because it was tampered with. Okay. Whew. Hold on. I didn't mean that. So look. There there are mirrors completely surrounding this elevator. But when we see Elisa. We don't see her walk in like we see Zach walking in. See him walking in. We could see that. We don't see that with this, this particular uh, footage, okay, and that draws very, very big concerns with me. Now, watching the actual Ghost Adventures, I gotta say this, I have to say this, I said it in, in the EVP I did, there is some very dark shenanigans going on there, okay, and I, I can't stress that enough, it's very, very, very dark, and I said that before, um, they say the same thing, now the difference between me and them, okay, is that they're literally going to these places looking and calling out demons. That's a big no-no. Of course they're going to be affected. I was affected just, um, how do I say, when, when, when I was like meditating to, to, you know, ground myself for that specific reading, it took me forever because every time I grounded myself I was instantly drained again and I ground myself and I'd be instantly drained again and that's when I knew okay something's going on it took me almost two years to do that video okay um and I got basically the same answers that they were getting okay um it's, it's absolutely absurd I am not ever going to a place looking for something because you never know what you're gonna find 
Okay, um, and when they go into these places, it can attach to them how Aaron was was being totally affected, and that's what I was feeling every time I would sit down. My dogs would do something, and I'd feel enraged. Like, okay, this is the end for you, and I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> that's my dog. I love my dog. What am, what am I doing? You know. So it took me a long time to ground myself just to do the reading, and I wasn't even in the Cecil Hotel. So imagine what they really felt. While they were there, they were being attacked and they're probably still being attacked. Now, it also mentioned they wanted a female for themselves, the entities. OK, um, that's creepy in itself, because literally I caught a, a black shadow in my house uh, like I, I really did. Uh, I, I have it posted on here. Um, it's just very creepy, okay? So when, when I'm doing this, I'm a lot more protected than they are because they're literally exposing themselves to this, and that's the difference between me and them. Once you cross that line, there really is no coming back unless you just leave everything completely alone, work out your karma, and then start a new slate. You know what I'm saying? But you're not going to start that new slate until you even out the car that karma, Um and that's scary. I feel bad for them that they actually are doing that. You know what I'm saying? I really feel bad for them because this is no joke. Um, you know, there's there's all this bull crap going on on the internet saying, oh, anybody that does these EVPs are just fakes and they're scammers. And I've been called a scammer by people that's never even talked to me. And it's just like, do you even know what the the definition of a scammer is? It's it's basically when, when you pay for something, you know, and the other person does not, you know, fulfill that, 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 uh, you know, pact that you just made, you know, that's a scammer. I am not a scammer. I am not a liar. People will tell me, you didn't see that. You didn't hear that. How the hell are you going to tell me what I see and hear? <laughs> that sounds dumb. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So it's just like, okay. So then there's these two bigger um, bigger than me anyways, uh, channels, right? And they're beefing back and forth. You're faking, you're faking, you're faking, you're fake. And it's like, they literally told on themselves that what they do is they literally manipulate their EVPs. Both of them said it. So neither one is better than the other. Now, I do not manipulate anything. Um, what you hear is what you get. What I get is what you hear, and that's it. I'm not adding nobody's voices. If we get somebody's voice, it's because it actually came through, not because I took a piece of somebody's voice that sounded similar and put it into the... No, 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 no. That is all bull, and that is bull. I'm not doing that. I ask questions, and I get answers, and it literally comes true. Like, I have proven that over and over and over again for my, my day one babes. Y'all already know. You can back me up. Um, that it was impossible for me to get pregnant, and it wasn't even a thought on my mind that I would get pregnant. I was thinking I had to go through um, IVF and for 14 years, mind you. Okay, so this was not just a, a one-month thing. You know, this was 14 effing years that I went through infertility and spirit told me, Candace, you're pregnant, prepare yourself. And literally like two to three weeks later, I found out I was freaking pregnant. And like a week after that, I lost it. Boom, they say it again on live and I almost burst into tears. I got so angry, I just wanted to hit somebody. When they say, Candace, you're pregnant, we got you. And like, I didn't even get to mourn for the first baby. So I'm like, you know, F everybody, leave me alone. And Come to find out, like, two to three weeks later, boom, it came out I'm pregnant. And I didn't even notice. It took me a little longer the second time because I was, I was like, it had to be like a month later after that. I'm standing in my kitchen. And I was looking in the fridge, and I'm just standing there scratching my belly. And um, my hubby's daughter came in, Chanel, and she was like, Candace, what are you doing? I was like, what? <laughs> she was like, look at you. And I looked down, and I'm sitting there scratching my tummy. She was like, are you pregnant? I was like, no. She was like, no, I'm going to get a test. I think you're pregnant. By this time, everybody was like, Candace, you're glowing. And I'm like, leave me alone, <laughs> you know? But, yeah, I just wanted to tell you about what I what – I, with, with Elisa Lamb, I'd never heard that part where they literally found sandy residue on her clothing, which would tell me, I, like I told you, I felt like they were trying to, um, I don't want to say the word, but it starts with the big R, um, and it ends with the P-E, and there's an A in there, um, on that rooftop, okay? 
That's what I felt. So this that confirms even more that I could possibly be right. Not me, but my soul, my spirit guides, my me. Everything's telling me that, you know. And then with the the whole, um, why is this no n not mirrored? Why? Why do we not see her? But you didn't tamper with it, right, Amy Price? Right. Okay. Whatever. But yeah, I feel bad for Zach and 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 Aaron and and. The other guy, I forgot his name at the top of the, off the top of my head. I'm sorry, but I feel bad for them because they are literally subjecting themselves to this negativity. And that always comes to bite you in the booty when, when, when you're balancing things. You, they're not going to be able to balance very much. Now, I, I bet you any money when they went home, they got in argues, arguments with their, with their significant others and things are going wrong for them. And I bet you any money they've had terrible dreams as well after this. Okay. Um, tell me what you think about this. Tell me why. Tell me what you think. Okay. This is creepy. I told you there was some heavy duty shenanigans we'll just keep it at that i love you babes oh before i go um i gotta tell you this so please stay till the end to, to this hear me out now i've been hearing a lot about um oh man i even had a dream oh i told you guys about it a long time ago some of my day one babes might remember it where i said i had a dream that everybody was supposed to like go outside and watch this like this sky show, right? And everybody got like picnic um, blankets out and everybody's on hills and they're preparing for this. And all of a sudden, it was like, it looked like rainbows, but it was just like big rainbows, like circular rainbows coming towards us. And boom, that was it. And I believe after um, listening to a few, you know, conspiracy things and stuff like that, that that could have possibly have been where we were basically, how you say, like kind of like warped into another dimension almost. Okay, I know that sounds crazy, but follow me here. So supposedly we're not in 2021. Now you're not going to be able to hear me, but you're going to be able to see what I'm saying. I'm coming. You're going you're gonna to be able to see what I'm saying and watch the freaking answer. Your mind is about to be blown. All right, here we go.